Okay, we're live. I see you the first Vera is. Look at this mosquito. Mm. Hello, oh, Evan. Light, eh? light Hi, Lily. Shauna said hello, hello, oh, Chef Ruby. Hello, hello, hello. How you guys doing? Hello. Why the mosquitoes want to finish me off? <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> Ooh, the mosquitoes. We have. Mosquitoes. Shauna said hi, Chef Ruby. How you doing? How are you? Hi, Belinda. Miss Belinda, how are you? Hi, Beverly. How you guys doing? Hello, everyone. <sighs> Chef Ruby just get home from work from the restaurant. I just want to come here. Just a good evening. Good evening. <laughs> I just want to come out here and cook some dinner for you guys, okay? We're going to do some palm oil soup. Palm oil soup with some smoked fish, with some rice. This is a typical African dish. You know, all African um, countries have this dish, but some people... Some African countries have a different name. They call it, like Liberia, they call it palm butter soup. Palm butter soup. Palm butter soup. And... Belinda said, you look so beautiful. Thank you so much. Other countries, they have different name. They call it. But Sierra Leone, we call it palm oil soup. It's a very, very, very easy and simple dish. Okay? So take your pen and paper for your recipe. So write down your recipe. How are you guys doing today? Hi, Hi. Leticia. Who? No, someone said hi to me. Hey, they say hi to Abu. Abu, your wife's. Maru is not here. You don't want to see your wife. There's too wife. many mosquitoes. Huh? There's too many mosquitoes. Mosquitoes, yeah. They need to come spray. I'm going to find somebody to come spray. Even me, the mosquitoes are biting me all over the place. So, guys, please take your pen and paper. Let's do this recipe. Hi, Hazel. How are you? Hi, uh, what's that name? Osu do you candles Osula. for the mosquitoes? <laughs> Sonia, how are you? Do you... She said we could use candles for the mosquitoes. I think she meant candles, we could use yeah. candles. Yeah, they told me. Do I have candles? I have some candles here in the house. Where's Nazma? Uh, it's Nazma? too many. Hold on. <laughs> and it's hot outside. Nazma! Bro. Nazma! Bring some candles. Try some mosquitoes. of mosquito repliant. Repli we don't have any mosquito spray right now. Uh, Show them what I'm boiling right now before <sighs> I sit down and start cutting up. So, oh, the water is boiling. Itchy. So, can you guys see? I have some light today. But if I put it out, you're not going to see. I think I, I can hold to, it. I need to hang this light up here somewhere. How are you guys doing? So, this is a beef I'm boiling. This is cow beef, guys. Cow beef. If you guys know cow. Most of you from Africa, you all know cow. This is cow beef. Sometimes I don't like this part. This part is kind of tough. It don't matter how you cook it, it's still going to be tough. You know, so sometimes I'll just take it out and trash it or leave it in the soup. You know, so the cow beef is boiling now. She said it's a certain type of candle, not just regular candles. Oh, well, I need to go to the store and look for it then. So, guys, I'm going to season this cow beef with my all purpose seasonings, all purpose flavoring, guys. These seasonings are the bomb.com. Look at this mosquito. Don't bite my baby. <laughs> well, there's too many on my legs. <laughs> For real? It's so itchy. What am I going to do with these mosquitoes? Well, in Sierra Leone, guys, Africa. <laughs> For those of you that live in Africa, thinking that America is heaven. Oh, they don't have mosquitoes. Oh, they don't have flies. They don't have cockroach. You know, including me when I was in Africa. I used to think that America is heaven. Like when I come to America, Abu, suck it up. Oh, it's so itchy. <laughs> suck it up, Abu. Let me do my video. You know, even me when I was in Africa, guys, I swear, I used to sleep and dream about Africa like Africa. No, I used to sleep and dream about America like America is heaven. As soon as I get to the airport, man, I cannot even step my feet on the ground. I'm going to be walking on the 
on the something. I, I don't know what I was thinking about America, you know. So they still have people back home that still think like that, you know. So it's very good we have this social media now. We're making videos, we're showing everywhere. So those of you guys that are in Africa, we have mosquitoes in America, okay? We have cockroaches. Some people, some some houses or some apartment they have cockroaches more than some houses in Africa, okay, guys? So please don't sit there and think, oh, America is heaven, America is this. No, it's all the same. The only difference. Most of us, when we come to America, we have opportunity to, to find a job and work and make a better living for ourselves. Fish That's said, a big difference. Uh -huh. Fish said it's a cit citronella candle for the mosquitoes. Okay, so since I have the name, I'm, well, after my life, I'm going to look for, I'm going to take the name and go to the store and look for those candles. But I'm go I'll try to get somebody to come spray. Mm. I don't have too much trees around. So I'll try to get somebody to come spray. But anyway, I'm going to finish that story. But right now, let me season my meat. You have to go to my website. Did you see the website? No, not yet. You have to go to the website and order these seasonings. These seasonings are the bomb.com. The all-purpose flavoring. Jenna said use coffee grounds. It will keep the mosquitoes away. Okay, I can feel you guys them. keep giving me um, some tips. After this live, maybe I'll go to Publix and go pick up those stuff. Because we need them. We have a lot of uh, I think it's the flowers and the trees and stuff. Why can't we do it inside? I cannot do it inside. I mean, you know, I have to be uh, able to open my house. What but, about the kitchen? Uh, no, I cannot do it. So, guys, we're going to let the meat continue to boil because the meat has to cook to tender. You know, then I'm going to put a little salt right here. This is for my rice. Uh, gonna, let me just finish this side. You can put the phone down and go inside for a minute. One of them bit my foot. I just need you to read my comment. That's why. So. Oh. I will stop. I can feel them landing <laughs> I mean, on me. If I take you to Africa, what you going to do? Run up, fly away? <laughs> Hold on, let me bring my rice. If, if there's no, me, there's probably less mosquitoes. Ah, there's probably less mosquitoes over there than here. I can feel them landing on me. I don't think we have coffee grounds. Mm, that's too many. <sighs> Good evening, Vivian. Um... Joy said, yes, they think we walking on the street of gold in America. Yes, thank you. That's a right word. Thank you. So this is pabo rice. Make sure you rinse your rice and put it in your water. Put it in here. I'm going to cook the rice because I want my rice to be ready before my before my soup. And I'm about to go put some long pants on because... Yeah, hold on. When I see that, as soon as I see that, bring some candles. They said when we have... Not, not regular candles. So it has to be... It's okay. something Nella candles. Okay, I'm gonna go look for them when I have time. When I finish. Huh? That's what they said. They said it's gonna stop it. They said coffee know. grounds. They said coffee ground. Hey, I just coffee grounds. We don't have no coffee grounds, my husband. You just need to stay around. If I need you, you can help me. Let me turn They said put a little lighter fluid on the coffee grounds. Okay, and do what? And let it smolder the mosquitoes away. Okay. You wanna do that? When I have time, okay, I will come put the phone down. I'm itchy. Look for something to. Ah, uh, it's too many. These are flies. These are no mosquitoes. They look like they mosquitoes. Look like mosquitoes. <laughs> put it like, go wear some long pants, Abu. <laughs> it will be the um, tiny meal. No, turn the phone to me. Uh, I have to read like it. Yes. Yeah, just put it on the napkins. How are you guys doing? Sorry, the mosquitoes are killing us. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I just got some two weeks ago. I just got some two weeks ago. What did you get, Alisa? Um, how you guys doing? Abu has to go put on some long pants. The mosquitoes, even me, look, they bite me right here. You see? It's kind of red. Look at it right here. So we have mosquitoes in Africa, okay? In in America, <laughs> just like Africa. 
anyway what's been going on on facebook guys you guys just means you guys come here and share your story how did you spend your weekend how was the weekend you know how did you spend the weekend with your family your kids y'all come on we can cheat and chat you we can be chatting we can be gossiping we can be cooking we can be eating you know so this is a family house <laughs> you know family house that's why everything happened gossiping eating chatting whatever you know so you guys come on you guys can bring conversation maybe ask question you know ask me some questions about me about my kids about my business about whatever not too deep i don't want too personal questions okay if you ask a question that's on appropriate i don't think i'm going to answer it <laughs> um jelly said my sister lives in atlanta she said they they are bad have them spray your backyard okay yes i'm looking for somebody good because most of those people that spray out there some of them their spray is not good so i'm trying to find somebody good that have good spray that can come and spray the whole house you know so i'm i'm looking somebody already came and gave me an estimate so i'm trying to shop around and see um which one is good so if you live in atlanta you know anybody that that have good good spray i used to have one guy but for some reason i'm calling the number is not picking up that guy is so good when he spray your house that's it you know but if you live in atlanta you know anybody you know anybody that spray for flies mosquitoes incense any mosquitoes any um flies outside let me know okay as you guys can see my yard is so bushy look at all this bush i'm gonna show you guys some of you guys already seen it you know so please let me know tag me email me call me <laughs> there is a lot of dra ah, i don't want to read that <laughs> Ah, uh, Wendelin, please. <laughs> There's a lot of drama with Chef Kamele, Tris Allen. I am very disappointed. Hmm. Okay. Keep telling me, please. I want to know more. <laughs> ah, let me stop laughing, Papa God. Please. Please, God, forgive me, okay? <laughs> Why bring this up? shame okay mm -hmm. Hmm. did chef common electrice did anything to you or your business mm -hmm. i don't know <laughs> i don't know you know let me tell you guys something me i'm from africa okay you know what is called bondo me i went to bondo bondo means female circumcision when you they when they take you in that bush, eh? They put you in there. They do that female circumcision on you. What they what they do next? They zip your mouth. They zip it. <laughs> you know, the old people in Africa used to tell us, if you open your mouth, huh? Your stomach gonna swell up. <laughs> Why is these mosquitoes? <laughs> They used to tell us, so if you open that mouth, huh, your stomach gonna swell up. So I'm not gonna open my mouth. Oh, you guys keep talking. <laughs> I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> oh my God, I am only asking because your name was brought up and it pissed me off. Okay, what did they say about me? I don't think I catch that part. Please let me know. Please let me know. Can you let me know how my name was brought up? Because that's all I want to hear. And that's what I want to know. Who brought up my name? Who brought up my name? I want to know. And what did they say about me? <laughs> Today is Kongosa. <laughs> Today is gossiping day. Please tell me. Diamond, Diamond Sa Sanders just messy. <laughs> Guys, you are so funny for real. Don't worry about don't worry about chef. Don't worry about it, chef. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. Why, why, why? Shame. Let us keep it. 
let us keep it about chef ruby yes that's what i want that's what i want you guys keep it about chef ruby okay you know but sometimes you just want to <laughs> sometimes you just want to hear the juice the juice the cheats how they call it in american english <laughs> people are so messy um chef don't then chef don't fall for it okay no problem <laughs> That's Chef Carmen and Latrice Allen business, not Chef. <laughs> it's not my business, so I already told you guys, me, I'm from Africa. This mouth, they zip it. You know, my lifestyle, huh? I'm, I'm a very, very nice person. I don't have to praise myself, but I'm going to say it. Because they said when you know yourself, you you know, in, in Creole, in Creole, they said know yourself know yourself not to curse i don't know how to translate this in english know yourself not to curse when you know yourself hey god i cannot translate this in english know yourself not to curse <laughs> sierra leoneans come in please sierra leoneans come translate this for me let my american people know what i'm saying know yourself not to curse so when you know yourself is not a curse i hope <laughs> Anyway, you know, I know myself. I know what I can do. I know what I'm capable of doing. You know, so that's why I stay in my lane and continue doing my good job I'm doing and continue giving my good, good, good recipes and my best seasonings in the world, guys. Okay. All right. So, man, I wish Abu was here. <laughs> yeah, let me see. I haven't heard Ruby name at all. Love watching you, Ruby. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Chef Ruby, your name wasn't brought up. That's, okay. That's someone that's trying to get you involved. Miss Dash. <laughs> I don't wanna get involved, you know. Because no matter what, those two people, they were good people to me. You know, like I always say, and I always come on this live and say it. You know, that lady, especially Chef Carmen, is somebody I've known for a long time. We didn't just meet on these Facebook streets. You know, we used to travel on the road, hustle, festivals. I used to go to her booth. I would say, Chef Carmen, I run out of shrimp. Can I have two, three shrimp? She will give it to me. You know, she will come to me. Hey, Ruby, you have some French fries? I need some French fries. If I have it, I say, I'll take it. You know, so that's the good relationship we had. And what, no matter what happened between us, she always going to be, hey, Atlanta rain too much. I think it's raining again. Hmm. Well, anyway, no matter what happened between us, she always going to be my friend. She always going to be my sister. And Miss Latrice, I know her through Chef Carmen. Oh, she was a good person too. And I said it too on my Facebook one time. Um, for me to start this Facebook page, Latrice was the person that showed me everything, how to set up the page, the cooking page. I used to have my Facebook, regular Facebook, you know, and stuff like that. But for cooking page, oh my God, rain is coming. Ah! You know, for cooking page, she was the one that helped me set up the cooking page. So those two, they play, you know, a little part on my, uh, Allah, what is coming? A storm of or, or rain. You guys hear that? Let me cook fast and try to get out from here. You know, so both of them play a part in my, in my Facebook uh, um, platform. And I appreciate that, you know. Then, um, anyway, I don't want to go too deep, like I said, because they already zipped my mouth in Africa. They said, if you talk, your mouth going to swell up. So I ain't going to say nothing. Chef Ruby, your name was not brought up in, <laughs> in anything. That's another person trying to bring you into some... Oh, okay, thank God my name was not brought up. Because I know, I know 100%, none of them or anybody have anything bad to say about me. Because I never do 
anything bad or wrong to anybody. You know? Chef Abu is back. Mm -hmm. The mosquitoes are gone. So, <laughs> Those are flies. <laughs> the mosquitoes are gone. Shaniga said, I wish I could cut like you in this fast. Come on, let me show you. This is the African way, you know? If you don't know how to cut like me, you can use the cutting board. But for me, this is the easiest it's way. It's about to rain? How long? How many? It minutes? looks like it. For like, let me check. How long? Check that rice for me, please. Okay. I want to finish quick. Oh, these, these dumb flies. These two don't take long to cook. How long do we have for this rain to come? Huh? 744? 744? Oh, it's already starting. I can feel yeah. it. Why this rain is doing this to me? It always does this every time. You know what? I'm going to put a, a trampoline up there like a plastic. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Rain. Guys, this rain is going to end this life. Do we have something to cover? This is so sweet this rain atlanta rains like crazy guys oh my god the I fact that it's raining in hey, summer we have to put a trampoline up there <laughs> like, you're welcome shanika no. oh, okay. <laughs> diamond said her name was brought up in latrice alive she said carmen tried to convince her not to help chef ruby chef ruby how in god's name can you cut like that without looking wow no comment i don't have no comment on that you know, to this rain. The time I'm gonna feel comfortable enough to comment on on anything, I will let you guys know. But I'm not gonna comment on that. Hey. You know, but I know. I don't know. Mm -mm. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Hey Allah, this rain, this rain gonna stop our life, guys. I have to go in the house. Atlanta rain, oh Atlanta rain, oh. Atlanta rain, oh. I'm cooking like Africa. Africa, that's how we cook. We cook rain. <laughs> <laughs> said, rain, rain, go away. Rain, go Come away. again ah, another is, day. Hold on, hold on. One time I sung that there, while it was raining. Uh -uh, it let me show you my sing, Abu. Hey, uh, this is rain, bad. Rain, rain, rain. No, this is bad. Rain, rain. Yeah, I think I forgot the music in Africa. Rain, rain, go no. away. Come you, again Africa. another day. Rain, rain, rain. School is over. Rain go away. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when we used to go to school and the rain come, like like big big rain, then we cannot go home. They say we should go inside. No, nah, I'm not going inside. The rain today. I will show you guys that I'm from Africa, okay? <laughs> now, do you want to record? <laughs> I will show you guys me. I'm from originally from Africa. So today we're gonna cook under this rain. I swear to God. Okay, guys, I will. <laughs> the rain will stop. What this. did she say? They tell me to block all the um comments all that the are being comments? read. Ah, me, I want to read the comment too. No, oh, we have to cover the chairs. <laughs> yeah, we have to cover the chairs that we're not using. <laughs> Abu said, Nazma say no, you don't. Nazma is my grandma. Nazma say no, you don't. I want to be nosy. No, no, no. <laughs> I want to be kombucha. <laughs> Why are you going to do that? I know, right? No, sometimes all of us, yeah. everybody kongosai in this world. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Sometimes you have some kongosai in you. But the, the bad kongosai is the bad one. Yeah, this is a bad one. When <laughs> Lisa said, <laughs> Lisa said it's raining on the food. <laughs> when you kongosai, good kongosai is good. But when you do bad kongosai, then it's bad. You know, there's no good Congo in this world. <laughs> no, we have good Congo Huh? <laughs> I, I didn't know there was such thing. Huh? Cover it, cover this sideways. Yeah, we need we need a screen what for the back porch, like for up here. You know how it's I don't know what to buy. I know what to buy. Those blue. Oh. Florida, they have sprays around the the in the back. Like the little oh, walls, yeah, exactly. like the walls yeah, for yeah. the inside. I know exactly what you guys talking about. We need I'm those. So we need rain, one. We're gonna put it up. When the rain comes, you just put, put it down. down. Yeah. Okay, no problem. All right. I'm gonna look for it. What if you like like what if you could build like but like a glass I mean, one to I mean, the point where it's like whether this rain like open up works, me, I'm gonna do my life. <laughs> well we gonna have to call Maldi or Nazma. Why? Nothing. You went in the house? No. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Lily Johnson said I wish we had a rain. Where? 
Yeah, guys, where? Where? Where, where did she live? Y'all don't have rain? Mm. I swear I'll bring Atlanta rain to you. Atlanta rain so much, guys. It's not even funny. Mm. You know, it's been raining too much. Like the Africa. Raining season. This is yeah. raining season. Guys, we're not on the porch. We're back out in the patio. We're in the backyard. Show them the backyard. This, are, this is the bushes that bring all the mosquitoes here. We don't have a tall grass. You we know? Need, we don't need to pour Go pour something there. I was looking at I don't know. It. Somebody pour bleach. All right, let me go start my soup so I can get out of here. I have to you tie my shoes. Ooh. Let me tie my shoes. Yeah, clothes. get all the cords. Well, hold on. I'm tying I'm this. I don't know, but shake it up and move it to the corner. I'm not touching that. What about the rest of Okay, come on, Abu. We're going to cook fast, fast. Melissa said it's about to storm here in Kansas City as well. In Kansas City. Let's cook. Africa, Africa will cook under the rain. Joyce said, Good evening, Miss African Queen. Beautiful as ever. Love the beautiful colors and of the outfit. Oh, it's beautiful. Allow me to enjoy myself. Allow me to <laughs> Allow me to enjoy myself. What you say, Nasma? Nasma, don't go too far. I'm gonna need you. Yep, it's me, guys. It's still Chef Abu. You know what, guys? This Just is with a deeper experience. voice. No, listen, Abu, I'm being serious now. This is a good experience for them. This is how we used to suffer in Africa. You know? Because Africa, all of us, our kitchens are outside. Only a few people, or maybe the rich people, have kitchens in their house. But majority of African people have their kitchens outside. And not only kitchen, they, 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 they have to cook on charcoals or wood you know so just imagine when you're cooking it's raining that rain is falling on your charcoal or your wood now you have to blow it in africa i used to go like this yeah that would cause the fire to go up huh? that would cause the fire to go yeah, up that's what i used to do in africa my, my mom gonna call me rookie rookie we have to fully cover that one okay Rugi, can't blow the fire, can't blow the fire. Then I'm gonna go under this fire, under the wood, under the charcoal. Um, um, um. <laughs> oh yeah, um, they said cover that plug behind you, or unless it's waterproof. We don't need it. Let's, put it in the house. Let's unplug everything yeah. and put it in, and the ring light too, before it stop working. The ring light. Mhm. Mm okay. This is unplugged. Hang on, wipe it up. Sorry guys, we're still gonna cook. Let's put a ring light in the house. Let me not try Abu. and show inside. Abu, where the other light? That must be oh, yeah. The, oh, wait, those lights can stay. Huh? Those lights can yeah, stay. They're waterproof. So they it's kind of bright anyway. So come here. I want to cook this soup fast. Let's go in the house. Okay. In the me. house? Yeah. I thought we can save it for another time. No, I'm not going in the house with, it, with my people, but I'm going oh. in the house when I finish. Okay, guys, the meat is out. Maybe we should make a part two later tonight. No, the part two has to be in the house, but not right now. So why would we go show the house? Abu, I'm going to finish here. Just watch. Just watch me, please. So, guys, African cooking. Dolores said, out. did my goosey go out? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Let me talk. I'm so sorry, guys. I swear. I'm so busy on this on this life trying to nosy nosy trying to kongosa whatever but i'm sorry i had to ship the um igusi today because if i was going to ship them saturday then the soup was going to sit at the post office till today then it would have been bad you know so i decided to ship them today i shipped them today this afternoon so more majority of you guys going to receive them wednesday i hope can you show me what ship I'm not even. I'm supposed to do palm oil soup, but now I make mistake. I put oil, so we're gonna do oil stew. That's fine. <laughs> the palm oil is in the house. The rain is disturbing me, so I ship everything Ooh. today. Okay, mm -mm. guys. By Wednesday, the only person that's gonna receive hands on Friday is the lady in Sacramento. Okay. So guys, this is how we cook in Africa. I can't Africa. cook outside. Nope, it's getting too strong. <laughs> It's getting way too strong. Africa cooking under the rain. Mm -mm. Yeah. Maru will probably do it. Abu, wait. Uh -uh, we have to go inside. Abu, this is a good, good video. No. This is a, good this is video. a bad video. The phone is lagging. Light and 
Put it here. Then put my phone. Hold it up. This is a bad idea. You see this nice man? Where I put it? Go, go bring the lights and come to the phone. This phone. Uh, Mom, in the phone. Huh? This is not the size. Can you bring the lights for me? The light is inside. The ring light. No, it's just working. Bring me the ring ring light. Guys, I'm under this rain cooking. I'm not going in the house. These kids are forcing me to go in the house. I'm cooking the African way. What, Nazma, put the seasonings in the house. You don't have to put the light on. Just leave it. No, you don't have to. Just leave it like this. It's okay. It can in the house guys I'm only continue this video under this rain so some of you guys can see the struggle that we went through in Africa <laughs> somebody's laughing <laughs> but you know this is a good experience for you guys this is how we used to do it in Africa under the rain cooking under the rain selling food under the rain just to survive so please maybe God bring this rain for some of you guys to see the way most of us struggle in Africa, the way most of us grow up in Africa, and most of you guys that came from Africa, you all know what I'm talking about. Don't come sit here and act like, you know, your daddy was rich or your mama was rich, you was cooking in the house and the stuff. No, 80 to 90% Africans, we went through this. Our kitchens are outside. We cook outside, guys, okay? This is how we used to do it. And not only cooking outside, this one is civilized cooking outside. Africa cooking outside is charcoal, firewood. You have to blow it with your mouth. You have to blow it with a plate. By the time you finish cooking, <laughs> by the time you finish cooking, you are done, you know? So my stew is cooking. My rice is ready. So now, where is this fire? Guys, I cannot read comment. How can I get to order? I am from Jamaica. I said it on my last live. You know, if you're from Jamaica, you have to find somebody that live here in this country that can order your seasoning and bring it to you. If you see somebody that coming from the US going to Jamaica, talk to them. When, if they are here in the U.S., they can order from me and bring the seasoning to you. But for right now, I don't ship international. I ship only locals. But some people that live in Europe, like London, Holland, eh, Canada, they call me personally and place their orders. You know, then I go to the post office and ship them. You know, so if you are one of them, you live in Europe. You know, you want to order your seasonings, call me personally. My number is on my page. Guys, I swear, this day today, this rain makes me think a lot. It makes me want to be emotional. Why? Because I remember when I was younger, maybe like 14, 15, 16, whatever, when my mom used to sell food. You know, my mom used to go to the major streets on the highway she will go set up there and sell food. So I used to go with her to go sell the food. You know, sometimes we'll be out there till 11. I'm, I swear I'm crying, guys. It's so emotional because I know exactly what I'm talking about. We used to go set up on this street, roast, roast cassada. Some of you that came from Sierra Leone, you all know what I'm talking about. We do roast cassada, we do roast corn, we do um, fry fry, which is fry cake, fry plantain, whatever, anything. My mom, she was like me. She was a jack of all trades. She would cook anything. She would cook kayang. Those of you that come from Sierra Leone, you all know what is kayang. Popcorn and oranges, peel orange. I used to put it on my head and go around and sell it, you know? So sometimes when we go on the street to sell, Sometimes a big rain like this will come on us. 
that rain will finish on our body because we're not driving we don't have a car me and my mom maybe we don't even have an umbrella me and my mom so we have to take our stuff put them on our head and walk to the house maybe like 30 minutes or 35 minutes walk you know so for some of you that know me for some of you that know me that know rookie how Rudy grow up that personally know me y'all know my story y'all know what i'm talking about i grew up like this me and my mom we used to sit down we sell food under the rain just to make a living i'm not gonna sit here lying to you guys bluffing oh i came from a rich family my dad was a diamond dealer my my dad used to sell diamond we are rich we have this that no 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 who was just a middle class family so we used to hustle and this is what make me survive in america today hustling because my mom trained me well my mom teach me how to hustle so when i came to this country most of the job that i that that people show me that oh this is the job this is the job you know i try most of those jobs but i didn't like those jobs you know, especially CNA to take care of old people. It's not a bad job, but I just didn't like it. So something just came to my head one day. I said, let me start cooking, just like my mom. I start cooking from my house, going to the gas station, train station, flea market, taxi drivers, start going around selling plates, selling plates. That's how I started, guys. So today, look at me. I own my own seasoning company. I own my own restaurant. I've owned a couple of restaurants before. You know, so this is my story, guys. So I'm happy to be under this rain. That's why I refuse to go in the house. I'm happy to be under this rain cooking for you guys. Okay, so let me share the recipe quick. Let me stop talking about myself, guys. So this is um, onions and bell peppers and fresh tomatoes, okay? So now we're gonna season it with um, Chef Ruby All Purpose Seasonings. Chef Ruby all purpose seasonings. Then now you're gonna mix it. I wanted to do palm oil stew, but I didn't bring the palm oil outside. I made a mistake and bring the oil. And this rain came. So I just decided to cook um, um fry soup, whatever um fry soup or, or, or beef stew, whatever you want to call it, guys. So we're gonna add more seasonings here just to give it more flavor. Y'all don't forget to go on the website, internationalflavorscuisine.com. I don't think Abu pinned the, season, the seasoning website. Let me tell Nazma to pin it. Nazma, pin the website. Nazma, pin the website. Thank you, thank you. So, now, this is my blended ingredients. You guys know me for my blended ingredients, right? Most of my soup I cook. Bless you. You are amazing, powerful queen. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Memuna Chrome Chrome. So what did you not understand from my comment? No, oh no fighting, oh no fighting, please. Let's be let's be um, how they say it in English. Let's be cultural, please. No fighting. You know, we are just here to, you know, make jokes and stuff. Whatever those two people are going through, that's their own life, that's their own personal stuff. Let them go through it. It's none of our business for us to be putting our mouth there because sometimes they said when the fire already started and you take kerosene, you take petrol and go at it, it makes the fire blow up more. So please, let's forget about this. Let's focus on this beautiful recipe. Let's focus on the seasonings. Go to the website, order your seasonings and start cooking. You know, don't pay attention to other people's business, other people's stuff. Everybody have their own stuff. I always tell people in my community, you know, I said, your basket is heavier than mine. You have your basket in your head. It's so heavy than mine. Why you want to lift mine? I, I hope you guys can understand. If you have a heavy basket, a heavy load, then you want to come carry mine. You cannot. Just keep carrying yours. The meaning is... Let's leave these people alone, let them uh, um, handle their business, and let's mind our own business. You know, when somebody don't step on your toe, leave them alone, let them go away. Okay guys, you guys know me for my blended ingredients. 
is a bunch of stuff in here ginger garlic cilantro fresh tomatoes onions and what else um green onions green onions ginger garlic cilantro habanero peppers let me repeat one one, one more time ginger garlic cilantro um yellow onions fresh tomatoes so uh, habanero peppers everything is in here so write it down now we're going to add it to this onions okay we're going to go ahead and mix it mix it mix it this is how you cook your beef stew this is how you cook your let me show you guys i want you guys to see let me push this this is how beef stew you can use it to cook fish you can use it to cook lamb you can use it to cook goat meat stew you know i am seafood stew but this is the recipe for the stew you can put any meat of your choice in this stew guys okay so i hope you guys can see this light is not even working so we're gonna let it cook So do you guys have a recap of the recipe? You cut up your onions, fresh tomatoes, um, green peppers, you can do red peppers, you can do yellow peppers, you can do any peppers of your choice. You cut them up. Mostly if I'm doing red stew, I prefer to do red onion, um, red peppers, bell peppers, you know, but you can use any peppers of your choice. Okay guys, so cut up your onions, your tomatoes, any peppers of your choice. Put it to the side boil your meat boil your meat with chef ruby all-purpose seasonings make sure you boil your meat to tender you can use any meat this is beef this is fresh beef cow beef you know but you can use goat meat you can use um lamb you can use um any meat of your choice you know i i pref i i choose to use beef today okay so make sure you boil it to tender with my seasonings. You put it to the side. Oh God, no. You put it to the side. Now we're working on the stew. The stew is right here. Our cut up onions, our cut up onions, cut up bell peppers, cut up fresh tomatoes is in here. And our blended ingredients. Everything is in here. You're gonna let it cook for like five to 10 minutes let me taste it for you guys oh my god oh my god i wish it was the palm oil i really had palm oil soup in my mind to eat but because of the rain maybe i get confused a little bit i put the oil instead of the palm oil but it's okay even if you want to do palm oil stew that's the same procedure that's the same procedure to do the palm oil stew okay so now we're going to let it cook for a few minutes. Then we're going to put our meat in it. Let me just put the meat one time so it can cook together with the stew. It's already cooking a few minutes. So now you're going to take your meat. You put it here. The meat is already cooked. Put it in your stew. If you need that water, you can pour some water in your stew to add more flavor to your stew. add more water if you want guys this soup not gonna take two to three days in this house you know my my boys they love beef they are senegalese boys they like beef they will eat up this stew in two days you know so if you want to cook for your family you want to make any kind of stew for your family make sure you get this recipe this is a very good recipe but before you get the recipe, make sure you go on my website and order your seasoning because you need the seasoning with the recipe. You cannot cook like Chef Ruby if you don't have Chef Ruby seasonings. One guy came to my restaurant today. He he tried my food. He bought the oxtail. He bought the pasta. He said, damn girl. He said, you need to open a restaurant outside. He said, you don't need to be in this gas station. This is a hidden gem. 
this is a hidden gem in this gas station you have to go outside people need to know about you people need to know about your your food your spices everything that's what the guy told me young guy you know he's 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 been coming there maybe three days now since he started eating my breakfast he come every day and buy food from there you know so today he just look at me and said damn you can cook you cook all that food i said yes he said man you can cook he said you are a hidden gem you need to be outside you need to be so y'all continue to pray for me again the same way you guys pray for this house that's how you guys gonna pray for me for my sit down restaurant sit down restaurant where most of you guys can come from out of state and come sit down and enjoy a nice decent authentic original homemade cooking so let's continue to pray thank you guys for watching i love you guys continue to share my videos continue to ask people to follow me because right now i'm 40 000 plus you know followers i need more followers the world need to know about these spices the world needs needs to know about these spices so the only way we can do it by you guys telling people by you guys sharing my videos by you guys sharing my videos with some groups with some uh, um, friends family members you know that's the only way people can know about me you know this is the stew guys look at it oh my god beef stew oh my god so now if you like you can put some tomato paste to make it red but me i'm gonna eat mine like this because i want it to look like going soup maybe tomorrow well this is a lot of food maybe next tomorrow i'll do the palm oil stew with something else look at this stew guys look at it oh my god just imagine if somebody bring this to your house right now say i bring you some food if you if you was in africa africa our moms used to cook then they would put the food in the bowl they say take for uncle take for auntie take for your neighbor next door we used to do that but america <laughs> america you can't do that america you're gonna eat till you get tired of the trash <laughs> so miss miss lady everything you everything you people call stew and can put anything you have you have as choice and anything you have right uh i hope i can understand your question miss lady everything you people call stew and can put anything you have as seasonings right anything of your choice and anything you have right what what a way to go ow africa eh long way hope you make it i can't look at this it saddened my mind and soul i don't know i don't know what you mean i hope i can understand your comments i don't know what you mean i don't know what saddens you you know in life you have to be real i can't be here faking or lying you know and that's what I see most of social media people do. Lie, 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 pretend. I don't pretend. No. I tell you like it is. I tell you my story. So if it saddens you and you don't want to hear it, you don't want to see then it's up to you. You know, I hope that's what I understand. If, if I didn't understand the comment, please, you guys let me know. No, I grow up in America. We feed our neighbors, the children and all neighbors. We feed a lot of people trust me it's not common it's not common i cannot leave my house right now and go to that next door neighbor and knock her door and say hey, i have a place for you it's not common africa is common for us africa your your house like the way i'm cooking right now your neighbor can just smell it if that neighbor is hungry you're going to see that neighbor come walk around like they're going to pretend like they come visit you or something so by the time you finish cook everybody going to sit and eat that's common but America have been here over 20 years. It's not common for you to just feed a neighbor or for you to feed somebody's kid. Or America is even a crime for you to just take food and give to somebody's kid. You cannot do that. Because America, everything is a lawsuit. Everything is a lawsuit. You go feed somebody something they never eat before or something they don't know, whatever, whatever, something happened to them, it's a crime. You're going to jail. So I don't, I don't, mm -mm, I don't, I don't, mm -mm. I don't accept that. <laughs> uh -uh. 
you know, whatever I'm saying is the truth. Chef Ruby didn't live in America 20 years for nothing. You know, I know what I know. I don't know everything. I don't know everything, but I know some, you know. I know some. And me, I always try to learn the good part of America, not the bad part. When you go to somebody's country, always try to learn the good part so you can better yourself. Don't look at the bad part. You know, just like the way even our kids we have in here, you can hear like my boys, they say, oh, mommy, I don't want to go to Africa. Africa is this, Africa is that, because they don't know. All they know is the bad things maybe they hear from school, the bad things people telling them. So it's good to learn somebody's culture. It's good to learn somebody's food. It's good to learn somebody's life, lifestyle, you know? I think that's the best way. So me, that's how I operate. Any country I go, I try to learn the good part of the country or the good things about the country and try to better my life, okay? So this comment, they're going so fast. We love you too. I love you guys. Um, Donets. Donate, thanks for watching. Thank you guys for watching. My stew is almost ready. I'm just waiting for the water to dry it up a little bit. Look at it right here. Then it's going to be ready to eat. Anybody can bring a plate. You see these American kids, they run away. Oh, they think they're going to melt under the rain. They run away. Look at me here, still standing. Still standing. I didn't melt. Look at these two guys. So bring a plate and come get some. Look at this beef. Oh my God. I need to read some comments. How you guys doing? Oh, dear. let me wipe. I love Chef Ruby. Trust me. And I don't mean any harm. You guys are big. <laughs> please, you guys. You guys ease on my supporters now. Please, please. Some people, some people have the right to ask questions. Some people have the right to say what they want to say. Because like I always, like I just said right now, it's not everybody know everything. All of us, we are just experiencing. Whatever I'm doing out here, most of the things I'm doing is my culture. It's things that I do back home. So I'm here to educate a lot of people that are willing to learn. So the ones that don't learn, if they come up here, they ask some crazy question. Please, you guys just ignore them. <laughs> if you guys can help me help them, educate them, that's good. But if you guys cannot, be easy on them, please. <laughs> okay okay if it sounds like a, a dog and looks like a dog uh raise raise a dog quick <laughs> hey me those english i don't know them <laughs> i don't know those english <laughs> even me somebody needs to translate for me now if it sounds like a dog and looks like a dog and walk like a dog like a like a dog i don't know that one balu Ture, thanks for watching Donis, come on. I have a place for you. Share, share, share. Share the videos. I don't see no stars. Oh. All this rain that came on my head. Nobody give me star. Me, I'm here cooking for you guys. I'm giving you guys recipe. Nobody give me stars. Eh? <laughs> Please. Y'all give um, Chef Ruby some stars. Please. We need some stars. Shasha, what's up? <laughs> come on, let's eat. Um... Dobby, Dobby, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm seeing the stars now. Yay, thank you. Thank you for the stars. Mwah. Love you guys. Um, oh, God, this name. Trini. Hi, Chef Ruby. Miss you. I miss you too. Um, Joy, I miss you. What was the ingredient for the stew? I am just tuning in. Ah. <laughs> Troy, you're going to take me back, okay? So, the ingredient was... The meat was beef, cow beef, okay? The ingredient was onions, bell peppers, fresh tomatoes, fried together in the oil. Then I blend some other ingredients, which is garlic, ginger, yellow onions, green onions, cilantro, fresh tomatoes, red bell peppers. Blend everything together and add it to the stew. So now, if you want to get a recipe, you have to wait till I'm done with this live. Then you can go back and watch the recipe, okay? I cannot re repeat the whole recipe. But those are the ingredients. Please go get those ingredients and cook for your family tomorrow. George, hey, Chef Ruby, how do you get my supporter badge? Okay, 
how do I get my supporter badge? Go to my page and scroll down. The information is right there where they say supporters. You can click it, then you can do the rest. I think you have to sign up. Please, that's another thing. You guys um, join the supporter bar, which is eh? English today. You guys join my supporter group. <laughs> It's $4.99 a month, okay? That's the way you guys can support me. So I can be coming here maybe two times or three times a day and cook for you guys. I have to go to the store and buy the food and come here and share recipes with you guys, okay? So either you send stars or you join my supporter group, you know? So what else? What's the other question? So everyone in this trend... Um, please peace and <laughs> please peace and love true supporters wouldn't bring any mess situation to our page hey, 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 nazma nazma hey, nazma go to bed nazma go to bed <laughs> nazma if i come in this house i swear i'll slap your butt <laughs> go to bed nazma <laughs> oh god Look at my stew, guys. It's almost ready. A few more minutes. Oh, my God. You guys, come on. This, you put it over white rice. Oh, my God. The sky is the limit. You put this over white rice. Let me taste and see if the salt is enough. Oh, my God. You don't need anything else here. It's so good. It's so spicy. Come on, let's eat, oh, guys. Come on, who wanna eat? Who wanna plate? <laughs> Chef Ruby is a teaser. Chef Ruby is teasing you guys. You all tell Asma to go to bed. It's time for her to go to bed. <laughs> Hi, you will have to watch it over from the beginning. Or oh, my mom will repeat the recipe for you. Asma Gresham, yes. <laughs> Hey, God for them. Good night, my beautiful queen. Good night, Shasha. Love you. I'll see you again. Marie Johnson said, what, what cut of beef? Huh? What cut of beef? I never see beef that, that way. Please share so I can find it. Just go to any meat store. Tell them you want beef. You want beef with bones. Then you want them to cut it as stew. So they're going to cut it for you. But this is the fresh meat, the fresh one. The cow that they kill, that's the fresh, fresh one. So I went to the store, I told them what I want, they cut it up, and now I'm cooking it. So any state that you live, just go to their farmer's market, go to their Bangladesh store, those bang, bang, Bangal. Hey, the people from Bangladesh, they have those fresh meat market, fresh meat. So if you have them in your state, you can go there, tell them what you want they can cut it up for you barbara have the children um start blocking oh uh, have the children started back to oh uh, have the children started back to school yes they started school since last week it's almost two weeks now they're in school thanks for asking um cassandra hey i thought you went to bed <laughs> leave my people alone <laughs> Chef Ruby, the food looks delicious. Watching from um, Houston, Texas. Yay, Houston, I just came from there. I was there like two months ago. Yay, how you guys doing? I cannot leave you guys alone. Yeah, butcher shop. Go to butcher shop. Leave my people alone. No. Let me whoop your butt no. the, the African way. Nice. Leave my people alone. Huh? Come, come here. No. Leave my people alone. I'm, no. I'm whooping asthma. <laughs> no, because I don't like when you guys argue like Oh, them? Yeah. They don't argue. They're just yes, discussing. They you know, they're sharing ideas. Give well, me a place. Let me see that. I don't like it when you guys um, can't come to an agreement. Like, I, I don't like it. So, <laughs> so I just, you know. Put this in the house. Bring me a place. Let I me eat. Just No fish. I'm not putting fish. Okay. Come on. Bring me a place. Let me eat. Why you didn't put the camera to me? You guys going to come here and help me, let me finish up. The 
rice is ready. It's ready. This way I'm going to destroy all these chips. Hi everybody, I'm not getting all the way in the camera because uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't look too good right now, but yeah, I just try to keep the peace, like I don't like the whole like argue, arguing, well I don't want to call it arguing because arguing is bad, but when you guys don't, can't come to an agreement, you know, like I don't, I don't really like that. I don't like for any anybody to, you know, be just arguing. I'm very I'm a very like positive person. So like and I feel like somebody's bringing negative, I try to put a stop to it. Like I try to block it as fast as I can. Hi Trine or Trine, something like that. fall in love with this bowl. I like to eat with this bowl. I fell in love. My rice bowl a little bit. This brain just messes up everybody. You want some? Mm -hmm. Give me a plate. It's a little bit. That's nice. That's it? Yeah. Put it. Fix the camera. You just told me to put you in there. Mm -hmm. I want to see the food. Mm -hmm. Come on, let me put for you. Mm -hmm. so I can read comments. Take it out. So I can read comments. No, I want to read comments as much. Take the phone out. Thank you. How are you guys doing now? It's time to eat. Come on, let's eat. Look at this stew, guys. Who want to see those this stew that don't want to eat? Come on, let's eat all. Hello, Nazma and Chef Ruby. Thank you, Deborah. How are you? How are you doing? Hi, Trista. How are you? Thanks for watching. Hi, Jackie. Come on, let's eat. I have a plate for everyone. Everyone, come on, let's eat. Oh, my God. The bomb seasonings. Oh, my God. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, my God. Thank you, guys, for the stars. Keep sending stars. <laughs> Thank you, April. Thank you so much. S P O O N spoon. S P O O N spoon. Okay? I have my wonderful spoon from Africa, from God. Mm. Yes, Miss Sarah. We have your order. Yo, come on, let's eat. Oh my god, the meat. Mm. The meat is so tender. Mm. 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 Hey. This food, Elizabeth. This food don't just look good. This food tastes good. Oh my god. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It tastes so good. This is habanero pepper. If you want it spicy. You just squeeze it a little bit. Why? This ooh, when you smell this, you can tell it's a hot pepper. Oh my god. 
Come on. I say, pull your dress down. What's showing? Nothing showing, no. <laughs> I tied this dress the African way. So let me open it and pull it down. My mom used to tie money like this. She used to tie the money here so, so I don't steal her money. <laughs> yes, I swear. Elizabeth, you know what I'm talking about, right? Our moms and grandma, they used to tie money like this. They would tie their money like this. They would tie it so tight. You as a child, if you go there to steal that money, I swear they're going to catch you. Because <laughs> by the time you finish open this, right now I have to use my teeth. Mm. You see, it's open. <laughs> they used to tie that thing so tight, eh? Even if you want to go steal one dollar, I swear they will catch you. <laughs> hey, God for them. Guys, come on, let's eat. If I have some, if I have some okra, like boiled okra, then blended and put it over this food. Oh my God. Mm. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, Docreta. Doretta or something. She said, Miss Ruby, you are so funny. I'm, I love watching you laughing your, <laughs> laughing at yourself. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's good to laugh at yourself. Because that's what I said earlier. I said, know yourself is not a cause. You have to know yourself. <laughs> you have to know yourself. Oh. Mm -mm. oh my God. I want to eat this food so bad, but it's hot. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. Come on, let's eat, guy. Oh my god, it's too hot. Guys, this soup is so good. This soup. Please, guys, cook this soup. American, uh, um, African, any nationality, cook this soup. I don't care where you're from. Just cook this soup. You know? Just get this recipe and cook. I swear, your whole family is going to love it. Your whole family. Ain't nothing in this food but vegetables, vegetables, onions, bell peppers, cilantro, garlic, ginger, green onions. You know, that's all is in this soup. So I'm sure anybody can eat that. Unless somebody that is allergic to onions. If you're allergic to onions, you can use eggplant just to make your soup thick. You can use eggplant as onions or you can use a lot of bell peppers and a lot of fresh tomatoes that's still gonna make your soup thick you don't have to use onions because i know some people are allergic to onions you know so mm, it's so good cook this soup cook it your way you know if you live if you live out of state you cannot get to chef ruby you cannot get to me to try my food please just follow my recipe that's it Mm. you're going to be eating like me. You're going to enjoy food. You know, because food, when you cook food and eat it, it's good to enjoy the food. You know, you don't want, you don't want to cook food yourself and look at it and say, damn, why I put too much salt? Why my food tastes like this? You know, because even me as a chef, sometimes I can cook some food. Maybe I have a bad day. You know, maybe I'm stressed or something and and me for for real this is a true story me when i'm upset or mad or have a bad day when i cook either i cook too much salt or the food don't taste good at all so i'll look at that food sometimes i will eat it i'll just taste it and say man this food didn't even come out right and i won't eat it you know so food food has to taste good food have to have flavors so that's why most of you guys need to buy these seasonings especially my american kids teenagers from 17 18 and up let me say from even 16 18 and up even chef abu can cook sometimes you know i train them little by little although they are boys but i still train them how to cook because growing up in africa our parents they only used to make we the girls cook they don't let the boys cook you see 
So you find out that most of the African guys, maybe they come over here or they travel Europe or whatever, they, they suffer or they strain because they don't even know how to boil an egg. So now the world has changed. The world bring this social media, this uh, um, Facebook platform, this um, cooking platform to train kids how to cook. You know, so most of you guys that have teenagers, young kids, let them follow me if they have Facebook. Or if they don't have Facebook, when you're watching me, call your teen, um, teenager to come sit close to you. Let them watch. Let them get some little, little recipes. After I settle down with the house, I'm going to start making simple recipes. No typical African food like this. I'm going to start making simple recipe. Those kids can just go in the kitchen and fix for themselves. Like fried rice, like hamburgers, you know, like soul food, simple, simple food. When I said well, I'm going to start doing that. So please share my video so people can start following me. The moment I start giving those little, little recipes, most of the kids can learn them. You know, I feel sorry for our kids in college. Sometimes when I used to live in Fayetteville, I used to drive all the way up here one hour to bring food for Rashida. You know? Because maybe she's too tired or she don't even want to go in the kitchen and make some simple, simple recipes. And they're going to end up eating junk, 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 junk. But if they know how to cook, they can cook simple food and eat it like a homemade food that will stay in their stomach. Because when you eat food like this, it's going to stay in your stomach the whole night. You know, the whole night, maybe till the next day. But those junk food, you eat them. After two, three hours, it's finished. <laughs> anyway guys oh uh, let me leave you guys so so i can enjoy my food mm -mm -mm. i love and appreciate all of you guys thank you guys for cooking with me under the rain you know it was a struggle in africa and trust me that's how we used to do it unless somebody want to come here live but originally, <clears throat> that's how we used to do it. You cannot escape it. Because when you have a kitchen outside, then they have this little, little pan over the kitchen that leaking. You're still going to be under the rain and cook. You know? So that's my experience in Africa. And I was able to share it with you guys. I love all of you guys. I can't wait to make another video for you guys. So everybody have a good night rest. Y'all stay safe. Love and appreciate. Thank you for the stars. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all the nice comments. You know, thank you guys for the for the gossiping. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, bye guys. Mm. <laughs> Let me end the video. Good night. <laughs>